Even when their doors were closed for three months due to the health crisis, Volunteers in Medicine was helping keep Bluffton and Jasper healthy. During that time, we instigated a telemedicine program, which has been very effective. Also, while we were closed, we were giving out prescriptions, so our patients were able to fill their prescriptions and not have a lax in their medical care. The organization is not treating COVID-19 cases, but has been able to continue providing free health care, sometimes for issues that might be exacerbated by the pandemic, to locals who do not have health insurance. These people have nothing, and we charge nothing. And then the list is exponentially expanded because so many people have lost their jobs. And the first thing they think about is, where am I going to get my medication? And we connect them with programs that will give them their medications. Volunteers in Medicine has been able to continue serving the community largely because of support from the community, including a $10,000 donation from Peacock Subaru from their annual Share the Love event. There's a lot of people out there that can't afford health insurance, and this helps the people, whether they're working, out of work, problems with COVID, whatever, they take care of people. Over the last five years, Peacock has contributed more than $70,000 to Volunteers in Medicine, but this year, the non-restrictive nature of the donation is almost as important as the number on the check. This grant enables us to just put the money where we might need it, and that might be for an extra pair of glasses or an extra visit to a specialist or even to help provide uh, funding for a surgery. We have referral systems, so let's say we do pick up something that needs a specialist that doesn't volunteer here. We pay for that first visit, and all of that comes in charitable funds that we receive from the community. It means the world to us, and it means the world to our patients. And there's not a single person who hasn't come in and said, oh, thank God you're still here. And we're only here because we are getting that support. Tim Guidera, WTOC News.